Hey everyone, it's Natch, here doing another review for games and how getting 100% by completing the trophy list can help your mental fitness. Please keep in mind everything here is just my opinion based on my own life experience. There are some professional studies that would suggest I'm on the right track, but for now, I'm here to spread the word and help people look at gaming as more than just entertainment. So with that, let's jump right in. Today I'm going over Greedfall, developed by Spider, released in 2019. Greedfall is a single player game only, so no internet connection is required. To be honest, I've never heard of this game, but having watched the trailers, I was really excited to get into it. Having now completed it, I must admit it was not what I thought, and I was ultimately disappointed with it. That said, I gotta hand it to Spiders for putting a lot of effort into the story, and Greedfall no doubt serves its purpose for mental fitness. Okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, some of you might be asking, is this appropriate for kids to play? In short, maybe, but let's take an organic look at it anyways. The ESRB rating for Greedfall is Mature, 17 and older for blood, language, partial nudity, suggestive themes, and violence. If looking at the game to play for entertainment only, then I generally would agree with ESRB, but if you're playing Greedfall to complete it, uh, then I'd argue it's okay for teen, 13 and older. It's a pretty fine line though. The issue I mainly have is that there are so many different storylines to choose from, for better or for worse, and that introduces a lot of complex and dynamic moral arcs for younger audiences to digest. Although the game is fantasy by design, you do fight a good number of humans which, without giving away the story, really boils down to greed, a uh, shocker. <laughs> uh, I must say though that this was really sort of a toss up so if anything take it with caveat that there are plenty of other games to choose from for mental fitness if you're on the fence whether you want your kids playing it. Alright so now you may be wondering just how long will this take to get 100%? Well to be honest a lot of that will depend on the skill set of the player. For me I expect it to fall would take me 22 to 42 hours to get 100%. I've met that goal so I'm confident in saying that it would take anyone at least 16 hours to complete. There is a duplication glitch available that would significantly reduce completion time which is important to note since you must beat the game on the hardest difficulty as well. The other factor to determine how long this will take to get 100% is looking at the trophy list difficulty itself. Even with guides and walkthroughs, which I always suggest using if you can, I'd say Greedfall's trophy list is above average, and if you'd like to see the guides I use, they will be in the video description. Okay, so now the fun stuff. As you know, the whole point of my channel is to help educate and promote gaming for mental fitness. I truly believe you can improve so many mental abilities by earning 100% in a game rather than only playing the game just for fun. For Greedfall, I'd say its trophy list mostly improves emotional intelligence. And look, emotional intelligence plays an important factor at any stage in life. It's the ability to recognize your own emotions, manage them, and be aware of others' feelings and manage any kind of relationship you are in, such as family, friends, partners. It's generally a hard thing to do, to recognize and even realize just what kind of person you are and whom you would want to strive to be. People can spend their whole life trying to figure it out and effectively express themselves in a positive or respectful way with others. Not to mention as we grow older, so do people's emotions. So being able to help realize and manage that uh, by playing this game is helpful for mental fitness. The trophies that best highlight these is all for one, one for all, Guardian of Love, Min Nundahinam, probably said that wrong, <laughs> Love and Botany, and Love in the Sea. The first trophy is being able to unite all five factions that are in the game against the antagonist, uh, which requires a lot of correct decisions with each one without also negatively affecting others. So there's a lot of understanding and reading between the lines and what people are saying and how they would feel based on how you would respond. The latter four trophies are about getting into a romantic relationship with one of several companions you have in the game, which also requires making a lot of correct decisions with each one. 
I gotta say that this game has a ton of dialogue and taking the time to understand what is being said by different people with different mindsets is very helpful for those who want to learn more about emotional cues from those they interact with in their own life to build relationships with teams. I will say that if you watch my gameplay footage, you'll notice that I started skipping dialogue very early on, and that's mainly because once I figured out what I would rate the game for age appropriateness, I tend to skip dialogue where possible since I already had a guide to rely on. I do that to help promote viewers to play the game themselves if they want to know more about it, and because there are just so many games for me to get through and review, uh, I don't usually tend to take as much time as I would from the entertainment side of gaming, so don't take that as any kind of knock against spiders or anything, that, that's just how I did it. And before we call it a wrap here, let's talk a bit about improvements. When I think about trophies that would have reflected Greedfall and have been helpful for mental fitness, I would have put in more storyline related trophies. The setup was already there and it looked like the algorithm was in place as well. There were plenty of side quests and missions that I didn't do because it wasn't necessary. I also feel there could have been more ending options based on player decisions. There was just so much invested in the storytelling that I would hope Spider runs with it more in future gaming. Um, you know, you, you put in so much effort, you, you, got, you might as well just take the extra, you know, mile to get a hunt, to just go all out. <laughs> I think would have been great. Uh, okay, that's a wrap. Greedfall was, again, not what I thought I, and I was ultimately disappointed with it, uh, but regardless, I would really recommend playing it if you're looking to build emotional intelligence. And if you have any questions about this game or mental fitness or just want to share your experience with Greedfall, feel free to leave a comment or message me. I will do my best to answer any questions in a reasonable time. All right, everyone, that's another review in the bag. If you want to watch me play live and even join in on my multiplayer games, follow me on Twitch. If you would like to hear more about mental fitness, my game previews and initial impressions, then go on over and follow my Instagram. If you'd like to help choose what game I should play next or guess how long my next game will take, you can do that on Twitter. That's where I do all my polls, so keep a look out there. And also, I have started giveaways, so you can look at my YouTube and find out how to participate. That will be running monthly. And finally, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye!